Just a quick update on the various things that have been happening. We met yesterday, Friday the 24th uh, of March, with the uh, Unite uh, National Organiser and the Senior Organiser for Scotland, and we managed to get an update on the various uh, surveys that have been completed by yourselves, the members and others. So we'll be taking that to the next stage and action some of the issues that have been raised. What we've done is we've put ourselves forward for being able to go down to sites and get on them with the help of the organising department to get these sites organised from the ground up so that we can be the best effective fighting force for workers across construction in Scotland and across national as we take this back up to the National Combine. Specifically regarding the Argyle Street project where fares are operating, we will be returning to that site and we've got a guarantee from the owner of Fez that we'll be able to visit the site, speak with the books in lads that work for Fez, but also everybody else, all the other agency lads, all the self-employed lads, electrical and mechanical. So we're looking for your engagement and we need you to bring all your issues to us, all the local issues you've got. But also remember there's an SGIB wage claim in just now and myself and Joe Pisani as the SGIB reps on the board will be pushing for 14% and above. We're looking to, to curtail this cost of living crisis, you know, and get back on a level playing field. We've managed now to address various new sites that have been identified and we'll be taking the wages campaign to these new sites. But also part of the wages campaign is to engage with the members and find out uh, how they're feeling and try and get organised better uh, so that we can improve the sector uh, for everybody. So that's going to be continuing, but uh, hopefully we'll be seeing yourself on a, a site that you're working if I've no managed to visit you as yet. We're going to be covering all the sites, all right? And we're not going to let up until we've visited as many SGIB sites, signatory company sites as possible. All right, but we're not even stopping at SGIB sites. We'll be, we'll be taking this further afield. We have also identified two major sites that are coming on board uh, at the end of this year. And it's our intention that at an early stage that we're going to try and have dialogue to try and see how we can get those sites organised from day one. That will be done through, first of all, our political structures within Unite uh, because both sites are funded by the Scottish Government and the Scottish Government have a Fair Work Convention. Fair Work, as far as construction is concerned, is a lot better than what we're see receiving just now. So, first of all, we'll be having dialogue with the politicians, but also uh, we'll be using our industrial muscle through our organising department and officers and through the rank and file, etc., to get these uh, jobs properly organised. If we can be successful in these two jobs, well, that we use that template on the way forward in particular when its project's been funded by uh, the Scottish and UK governments. We're also putting out a call. We want everybody to think about stepping forward, stepping up and becoming elected reps. We need more reps. It's as simple as that. And we need as many members of Unite the Union to come along to the branch at the end of every month. West Regent Street, Glasgow, up at John Smith House. This branch number is SC155404. If you're a Unite member, look on your cards. And if it's not that number, then phone the office in Glasgow and get them to change it over, please. All right? Because only by being part of this branch can you get involved, raise your issues properly, but take it through the Unite machinery and get things actioned. Non-members come down 12 o'clock on those Saturdays and you can get in and have a discussion with us. We are here to fight for everyone, so it's time to get angry and get organised. Just finally, Unite, the Union in Scotland, have appointed a new regional secretary, which is the most senior position within Scotland due to the previous individual retiring. Jim Hart, who is the chair of the National Combine, will be having early discussions with that individual just to clarify the role of the National Combine, but also the role of the newly formed Scottish Combine. The Combines are what gives us power within this union and we are making waves. These Combines that have been formed have been fully supported with our uh, new elected General Secretary Sharon Graham. There is alternatives to some of the, the various constitutional committees within Scotland as it currently stands. And therefore, I think it's important that uh, Brother Hart has some dialogue with the new Regional Secretary so we are all singing for the one book. It's crucial that he's all get involved. Lay membership is what, is what leads this Unite the Union, all right? It's not the officers, they will help, but we need the members. It's a member-led union. 
In the meantime, the lads at Argyle Street will be seeing you shortly. Right, all the best.